Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. This morning I received a, a question that really bothered me and the thing is every month I receive this question at least once and it doesn't make any sense to me that in this day and age, the age of Islamophobia where our community is struggling and some Muslims are still asking questions like why did the Prophet sallallahu marry Aisha when she was, you know, I don't know, seven, eight, nine? Why did he marry a child? And you know, people are using this to attack Islam and to attack Muslims and the funny part is that we as Muslims are becoming agents in the perpetuation of this rumor. Um, it is not true. The Prophet ﷺ did not marry Aisha when she was a child. She was an adult and she was at least 18. And I wanted to just really make this video so I take care of this once and for all. And please do share it with your Muslim and your non-Muslim friends at your own discretion. But we need to put an end to this assumption. Five pieces of evidence to support the notion that Aisha was an adult when the Prophet married her ﷺ. Number one, in Bukhari, Aisha basically says that when I became conscious of the world, you know, meaning that I'm evolving from being a child, لم أعقل, she says, لم أعقل إلا when I became conscious of the world, and which is probably, I want to say, around maybe five or six, my, both of my parents were Muslim, right? And every day, you know, early in the morning and later at night, the Prophet ﷺ would come visit us because him and Abu Bakr, her father, were very, very close. And then when the trials started, meaning the third year of the Prophet's mission, when Islam was being now preached in public, Abu Bakr and my family, basically, they headed towards Abyssinia uh, for the migration in order to flee persecution in Mecca. Now, when, when you put all this in context, so she was probably seven or eight at the time of Abyssinia. And that happened in the fifth year of the Prophet's mission, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, Hijrah happened in the 13th, 13th year. That is what, you know, about uh, eight years later. So when she was seven or eight, that puts her at, you know, about 16 or 17 at the time of Hijrah to Medina. And if you take into consideration that she was, uh, you know, that she got married to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam two years after Hijrah, uh, that puts her around 18 or 19 when she married the Prophet ﷺ. Definitely, definitely not 7 or 8 or 9. The second is also in Bukhari, right? When Aisha radiallahu anha basically says that, you know, I was a child, kuntu jariyatun al'ab. I was a child and I, I used to play. وَأُنزِلَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم في مكة سيهزم الجمع ويولون الدبر. She referred to a verse from Surah Al-Qamar, which was revealed in the sixth year of Islam. And she says, I was a child and I, I was basically playing in Mecca when Surah Al-Qamar was revealed to the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم, which again, you know, puts her in the sixth year. I mean, a child who's conscious of the Quran and a child who's able to understand the verses of the Quran must have been like at least what? I don't know, six, seven in the sixth year which means, you know, that uh, the 13th year when Hijrah took place, you know, seven, eight, seven years later or eight years later, she was probably, what, 16, 17, 18? Which, again, two years later when she married the Prophet Wasallam, she must have been at least 18 when she married the Messenger Wasallam. The third evidence comes from Imam Ahmad when he, in one of the ahadith, he describes the circumstances of her marriage and, and basically says that another family approached Abu Bakr al-Siddiq asking for her hand in marriage. You know, Al-Mut'am ibn Adi wanted her to marry his son Jubair. And, and so when the Prophet approached Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr said, Messenger of Allah, I'm so sorry, you know, someone is, is already requesting her. I need to, you know, talk to them first and honor them and then we'll see how it goes. So he had a meeting with Al-Mut'am and his wife and he sensed hesitation from the mother. And so he asked her and she said, Akhsha an tusbi Aisha to Jubaira. I am worried that your daughter Aisha will basically convert my son Jubair to Islam. And so he turned to Al Mut'am and he said, Is this how you feel? And he says, Yes, this is, I feel, I, I have the same feeling as my wife. And basically the marriage was called off, and that's when Abu Bakr and the family came back to the Messenger وسلم, and, she, and they told him, You know, Aisha is now available. Right. So now, you know, answer my question, please, with sincerity. If a, a child, if Aisha was a child, would the family of, of a would be husband be concerned that she would convert her husband to Islam? She must have been an adult with, with charisma, with intelligence, in order to have that kind of effect. You know, I would say she was at least 17 or 18 when Al Mut'am and his family approached her, which again puts her at the age of maybe 18 or 19 when the Prophet ﷺ married her. 
Fourth evidence, you know, just for your amusement today, inshallah ta'ala. Muhammad ibn Ishaq, the very first historian in, in the history of Islam. He was the teacher of Ibn Hisham, the author of, of the great book of Sirah. He was the teacher of Imam al-Tabari, right? Muhammad ibn Ishaq was the very first historian. He has a list in one of his books. He has a list of the first 20 Muslims, the first 20 people that accepted Islam, probably in the first year of, of the Prophet's mission, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he puts Aisha at the rank of number 19. He says that Aisha was the 19th person to accept Islam. Now, wait a second. You must be what at least conscious and, 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 and aware to accept Islam. But for the sake of argument, let's say that Aisha was five. And that is in the first year of Islam. 13 years later, at the time of Hijrah, she was what? She was at least what? 18? And two years later, when she married the Prophet, ﷺ, she was at least what? 19 or 20. Again, evidence keeps supporting the same exact thing, that she was at least 18 when she married the Prophet ﷺ two years after Hijrah in Medina, right? Uh, last but not least, you know, the fifth evidence that, evidence that I wanted to share with you is the age difference between her and her sister Asma. All the scholars, there's a consensus that when Asma was, you know, remember when she was pregnant and she used to carry food all the way to the cave where the Prophet ﷺ and Abu Bakr were staying during Hijrah, all the scholars say that she was at least 27 when she was pregnant with Abdullah, her son, and she used to basically take uh, uh, food to the Prophet and her father Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. And all the scholars and historians say that Aisha was at least 10 years younger than her. So if at the time of Hijrah, Asma was 27 and Aisha was, you know, 27 minus 10, 17 again when she married the prophet وسلم, two years later she was at least 19. i wanted to share that with you inshallah ta'ala so you're not you don't feel apologetic you don't feel like oh my goodness you know i have to defend the prophet وسلم. oh you know that was the culture of the time you know people used to do that and and you know girls in the desert they mature earlier we waste so much time and resources getting apologetic she was not nine she was not 15 she was an adult she was at least 18 radiallahu anha when she married the prophet وسلم. and i hope this video clarifies this matter you know please do share it widely and don't forget me and my family in your dua. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.